NBC's chief foreign correspondent Richard Engel is in Benghazi. Richard, good morning. And when we spoke yesterday, 24 hours ago, you were talking about how thanks to NATO airstrikes, the rebels had been able to advance hundreds of miles with relative ease. That's now come to an abrupt halt. It certainly has. And what's been clear is that without that air support, the rebels can't take territory and they can't hold territory either. Gaddafi's forces launched a very effective counter assault overnight, driving back rebels from, uh, from the, here in the east. And uh, we're also learning that Gaddafi's troops are changing their tactics slightly. They're not using as many tanks as they did in the past because those tanks were so easy to identify and destroy from the air. Instead, Gaddafi's forces are now using smaller units and driving in jeeps and uh, civilian vehicles, vehicles that are very similar to the ones used by the rebels themselves. So seen from the air, it's hard to distinguish who's who. You know, Richard, you, you've seen these forces, this rebel force in particular, up close. And I know, in, in the, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but you're not particularly impressed by their capabilities. Has it gotten to the point now where they are going to have to be armed by countries like the United States and then be trained to use more sophisticated weapons if they're to stand a chance? The problem with their capabilities so far is that they have absolutely no training and no discipline. When Qaddafi's forces started advancing in these small units yesterday, the, uh, the rebels simply got in their cars and beat a very hasty retreat. The, they don't have sophisticated weapons. What the rebels would really like is Apache helicopters flying closely over their heads and firing rockets down into Qaddafi's troops as the rebels advance. They're not, they're not going to get that. Instead, they would like to have longer range weapons, sophisticated rocket launchers, artillery. But there are absolutely no indications from what I've seen that the rebels have any idea how to use these weapons. And it's really anyone's guess whose hands the, the weapons might end up in if they were actually transferred to this country. Uh, Richard Engel reporting from Benghazi in Libya this morning. Richard, thank you very much. We appreciate it.